Hey guys, I am back to film my manga haul for the month of September. This might be the smallest manga haul I've had in a very long time. Let's just let's just start with that. Um, Bazaar was joking with me, and he was like, "Oh, I bet it's still a lot because it's you." And I'm looking at the stack, going, "Not really." <laughs> um, it's just I don't know. I mean, I I didn't really buy like too many. I bought way too many books. You guys saw, there's like three freaking book hauls for September. So like the books kind of took a front seat and the manga took a back seat. So like the pre-orders <clears throat> that I already got, like obviously those came in. Um, I think I got like one random manga that I realized that I, like one or two that I wanted to snag that weren't like pre-orders or three, I don't know. There was just a couple, but most of these are pre-orders. And ironically, some of my pre-orders got stuck because right stuff and Lindsay stop ordering from right stuff <laughs> like order from right stuff when it's actually like in stock not pre-orders because what freaking happens is like I thought I was going to be okay because I like pre-ordered all my stuff for like September from them like just in September like so I only ordered like not oh, so I ordered in August for September and I only put in pre-orders for September in that order. So I was like, well, even if they're taking their sweet freaking time with delivering them, because that's my big problem, is that if something comes in stock, I expect you to freaking ship it because I'm paying for your freaking membership so that you will actually give me freaking shipping that's decent. Instead, you will sit on it for like a freaking week and then be like, oh, sorry, it's out of stock. I guess I can't ship anything else. Even though one is out of stock and I have three in stock, we're just gonna sit until that out of stock comes in or the next week comes by when the next batch comes out. And then maybe we'll think about shipping it. So I'm kind of done with them in pre-orders because it's getting me very annoying because I've got like three or four pre-orders that are still stuck with them just because Card Captor Sakura clear file like freaking delayed until October. <laughs> So because Cardcaptor Sakura delayed until October, like, the second half of the stuff that was supposed to come out in September was, like, on hold, waiting for that one to freaking make up its mind on when it was coming out. And then, of course, something got out of stock, so then they didn't want to send it because one of them was out of stock. And I'm just kind of done with them. So, sorry about the little tangent. I will order from Right Stuff if it's in stock. I am not pre-ordering from them anymore. I would rather just use, like, a 20% off from Books A Million and get them from Books A Million and guarantee you that they're going to actually ship the day they come out. Set my piece. So I do have a right stuff order coming because when I get frustrated with them, I will actually order some stuff that's in stock to force them to ship the pre-orders. That's what I've had to do. So I did order some stuff. It was actually stuff I wanted, so it wasn't like I was just ordering stuff to order stuff. But it's not coming in till next week, till like Monday or Tuesday. So that's just going to go in the October haul anyways. So this is what I have. Okay. So first off, um, I got this one off of Amazon. And I got it because Shay, was, Shay from Shay Geeks Out was talking about it. And I really wanted it. And it's huge. And that is Cats of the Louvre. Because this is Lindsay, and this is Cats, and Cats. And look at that. Oh, crazy. So cute. So this is from Viz. I'll just... Oh my. Look at that paper. So... So pretty. So I got that one. What else did I get that wasn't actually a pre-order? Anything else? Oh, you weren't technically a pre-order, and you weren't technically. Okay, so these two were not technically pre-orders. Um, I realized that I never actually pre-ordered blank canvas because I never actually got to reading the first volume. And if I didn't write it on my uh, list of manga that I'm collecting, like usually I actually uh, have a Word doc that has like all the manga that I'm collecting and when the next volumes come out. And then if I've pre-ordered them, I will highlight those volumes so that I know that I've already ordered them. But Blank Canvas, for some reason, I just never got around to reading the first volume. And because I hadn't read it, it was in my TBR stack and not my actual like collecting stuff. So I just missed it. So I realized it came out and I hadn't actually pre-ordered it. So I snagged it off of 
Amazon, I think. And then this one I got because I didn't actually realize the second volume was out until Bizarre Individual did his video and said, hey, the second volume's out. And I was like, oh, that's a thing. So I got the second volume of Star Collector, which I think... Is this the last volume? I think it's only a two-volume series. Yeah, the end. Okay. <clears throat> so I need to read that one. And then the rest of these... Well, this one I... <clears throat> oh, my throat. Okay. This one I ended up getting off of Amazon because I got the first bu first volume in one of my Manga Spice Cafe boxes and I thought it was freaking adorable so I realized that the second volume was out I technically I think I actually pre-ordered this so I realized the second volume was coming out in September so I snagged it off of Amazon so this one I'm pretty sure was a pre-order but this one's cute the first volume was adorable so I like really had to go get more of it Okay, so these are all definitely pre-orders. Okay, next one. Aria, the Masterpiece, Volume 3. I continue on with this. This is super freaking fluffy slice of life. Tokyo Pop did, it continues to do a great job with these. They're just crazy gorgeous. <clears throat> I don't have a lot with, like, these French flaps. I mean, they just... Some of these, like... When I read these, I just, like, get inspired half the time. Look at that. Get inspired half the time and just take random pictures from the volumes just because they're gorgeous. Next off, we've got the next volume of Made in Abyss, Volume 7. Have not read it yet, but I have read up to 6. So I am mostly caught up. So there is that one. This one, I think, came from Books A Million. The next one, which I like freaking need to read like today, <laughs> is Land of the Lustrous Volume 9. Oh my gosh. That last one was such a freaking cliffhanger. And I'm like, oh, I have this in my hand. Oh my gosh, I get to see what happens to the babies now. Because that one, some of the characters went on an adventure. Let's just say that. So good. Okay. So next off, we have got the next volume of Bungo Stray Dogs, volume 12. I like Bungo Stray Dogs, what can I say? It's like a, a paranormal group that, like, solves crimes and, like, fights bad guys and stuff like that. And Lindsay and Paranormal Anything is amazing, so yes, please. I got the next volume of Eden Zero. I like this one so far, so that's why I'm keeping going. I've never read Fairy Tale, but it, I thought it would be like not as intimidating to try and start Fairy Tale since this one like doesn't actually come out that regularly. I feel like I think it comes out. I think it's like release schedule is a little staggered, so that's fine because it's not quite as like intimidating that way. Next off, we have got Candy Colored Paradox, the third volume. Still wrapped. Need to read this. Might read it for the readathon right now. We'll see, because I'm trying to read Meowie. Uh, we'll see. Okay, next off, I have got After the Rain, volume five. This is the final volume of this series. I will be reading this one for Shay's Fall into Manga Love readathon. So, yay. And I will finish it, and I will cry, and we will see, and it'll be glorious. Okay, another one that's going to be read for Shay's readathon is the next volume of Kikaru Bed and Breakfast for Spirits. I definitely like this one. Um, girl's grandfather was like, destroyed the spirit realm, and then basically saddled her with a huge debt. So she ended up going to the spirit realm and she can basically marry the head of the inn or she can try and pay off the debt. So girl's trying to pay off the debt. Next one that's also being read for Shay's Readathon is the next volume of The Demon Prince of Memoji House. 
this is getting close I think there's one or two other volumes left in it um, it's I mean it's gorgeous look at that cover Ugh, can't wait next one also for Shay's Radio Fun <laughs> is the next volume of Daytime Shooting Stars um, read the first one definitely enjoyed it it's just a cute fluffy little shoujo so there is that and then last but not least I am not lying. I told you this was a pretty small stack. And another one I'm reading for Shay's Readathon is Snow White and Red Hair. So this is the third volume of that. Um, this one's definitely, I mean, I'm just really loving all these shoujos. Um, she's, the main character is a herbalist. So she ends up, she gets a job at the neighboring kingdom after she runs away because a kingdom, the, one of the, a prince or something from her kingdom wants to marry her because of her hair and she runs away and but she's like really good at being a herbalist so they basically hire her to be that so it is super fun and that's it that is all my manga so far I mean yeah <laughs> it's not a lot and at least three four five, five of them are gonna be read for Shay's readathon so Yay. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my short September manga haul. Um, I don't know how big. I'm trying to behave like in October. I like definitely, I already, I went off and pre-ordered for October. I think most of November my manga that I'm in the middle of collecting. So those should be coming from Books A Million. Not the right stuff. Um, and then obviously I did do the right stuff order and got some more volumes to continue on in a series that I'm loving so much, and you guys will know what it is. Shay already knows. You'll know what it is when, um, they actually come in and I show you guys. And I think that's about it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys later for the next one. Everyone have a very good rest of the day.